While working the night shift at a nursing home in 2015, I enjoyed helping elderly residents who woke up seeking companionship. One person reflected on her late husband by the window nightly. I supported her softly yet strongly. My mental health declined, and I had irregular menstrual periods approximately twice a month. I initially shrugged off these alterations as nocturnal shifts. After a few months with no improvement, I sought medical care. My doctor found a sharp reduction in my blood cell count, needing dialysis. I also had serious uterine fibroids that required emergency treatment. I realized the health benefits of a hysterectomy despite the decision-making difficulty. Prior to surgery, I received blood transfusions to boost my blood count. My recuperation after surgery included daily activities to build strength. Despite missing my daughter's wedding, I thought the struggle was worth it as my health improved. Four months after surgery, another setback. An infection in the surgical site caused severe agony and hospitalization. The doctor pledged to help despite not knowing the infection's etiology. In pain, I witnessed my daughter and husband trying to stay strong in the hospital. The pain made it hard to stay calm. My body slowed down, life slipped away, and I experienced terrible dizziness. I felt like I was floating out of bed, leaving my body. I felt a great warmth and entered a serene, lovely realm where all my anguish went instantly. I watched the physicians operate the ventilator as the nurses chat anxiously on the side, feeling instantly relaxed. I felt someone alongside me suddenly. Surprised, I saw a man standing there, comforting and warming me. With a pure, dignified face and a smile full of love and warmth, she touched my heart like a sweet ray of sunlight. Her silky robe and white wings cast a sparkling glow around the room. This light hugged me, making me feel loved. When I realized she was my guardian angel, all pain and anxiety vanished, and my spirit was freed. I felt less alone and terrified because my angel was there to support me. I felt life's beauty and wonder, but my knowledge was lacking. I thought love bridged life and death. After asking about my mom, my angel said we may meet. Despite this amazing chance, I struggled to decide. I felt a serenity I couldn't describe in the bright area, like my church experiences but greater. I felt like I was in a realm of infinite love and peace. I suddenly returned to my body and felt anguish. My husband sat beside my bed, and I realized I wasn't dead. However, closing my eyes brought me back to my angel's warmth and affection. I alternated between worlds for two days. In the angel's presence, I saw my body encircled by a golden, flowing light. That state made me feel connected to everything in the cosmos. I peppered the angel with questions to understand life. She answered my question on our purpose on earth, to find and share unconditional love. We're all on this route, yet our love understanding differs. We all evolve and change, thus no path is better. This remark reminded me that love is our mission regardless of background. Every growth journey is different. When I asked about returning to Earth, the angel said, You decide. Life will give you many chances to decide whether to stay or go home. As I considered my answer, I felt a deep connection with the angels, sad to leave this wonderful location. I suddenly thought of my child. Knowing she had struggled, losing her mother would be heartbreaking. I understood the need for selflessness. While considering returning to this wonderful realm, I grasped my obligation. I couldn't let my daughter suffer. Looking at the angels around me, I decided to stay on earth. I had to love and support my daughter as a mother. Personal desires kept me from avoiding this. An experience with angels taught me the meaning and value of life and the responsibility ahead. Immediately after my decision, a force pulled me back into reality. I gradually regained consciousness of my body, my heartbeat, and my surroundings. I focused on the hospital's white walls and medical equipment while struggling to open my eyes. I slowly relearned control and moved my fingers to feel my body's response. Over time, I regained control of my body, and the doctor appeared. The doctor told me my appendix ruptured unexpectedly two days earlier, producing a severe infection. My medications helped stop the infection's spread, thankfully. If I were sicker, the outcome might have been different. This incident deepened my appreciation for life. I chose to stay on Earth to support my family and grow with this world. This event inspired me to face life and future problems. After recovery, 
Leaving the hospital changed me. This life-changing experience made me appreciate every day as if it were my last. I no longer worry about little matters. I focus on and appreciate every unique moment. My viewpoint changed too. I now grasp our shared aims and destinies by seeing everyone as interconnected despite various life experiences. The doctor believed in my survival after hearing my story at a recent medical. A priceless encounter made me rethink my principles and life philosophy. It reinforced my commitment to achieve my goals and motivated me to live a more meaningful life, loving and caring for others.